Well, happy days, folks. Welcome back to Fur Woodcraft. My name is Joe. Thank you very much for being here today. Pretty much this time of year, if I go out in the woods for any length of time, I plan on, you know, making coffee or cooking lunch or uh, at least take lunch with me, something like that. But this time of year, unless I have a video planned for it or unless I plan to just hang out and, and chill basically for a while, I usually don't plan on cooking over a fire. I'll take a, a butane stove or an alcohol stove or something like that. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a pretty cool little alcohol stove I just got about two, maybe three weeks ago. This is from mysurvivalpack.com. This is what they call their core alcohol stove. It is brand new on the market. I believe they are shipping now. And if these are not shipping now, I believe they are available for pre-order. Anyway, that being said, let's take a look at this. This is what it looks like used. I have used this probably around 10 times, maybe a dozen times, something like that. It is made out of titanium, so you will get the, the bluing here up on the, the fins. But overall, it is extremely easy setup, extremely easy tear down, and extremely easy to clean. Before I get into my rambling mode, let's go ahead and take a look at this, show you how to assemble it, disassemble it, how to use it and all that stuff. We'll kind of go over its features and just hopefully have a good time. While we're going over assembly, it does come, as do all other stoves, in a handy nylon pouch. It does come with very secure uh, Velcro hook and loop system up here to keep it all, all secure together. It is water, water resistant, so you know, I mean, if you were to take this swimming with you, I'm sure some water would get in there, but if you're in a rain or probably even a downpour, you should be good to go. As far as weight is concerned, the whole package comes in Right about three ounces. As you can see, there the stove is assembled. That's the one I've been using. Let's kind of go over what you get when you purchase this stove. The purchase price of this is $18.95, I believe. Just shy of 20 bucks on their website. The links will be in the description. Again, you do get this nylon pouch and it comes in a couple, a few different pieces here. Let me go ahead and explain this. But while I have this out, you do have a very comprehensive set of instructions. These aren't written in Chinese or they weren't written by someone from China. So they're extremely understandable. And I will go ahead and say there's a fair amount of humor mixed in there as well. This is basically the core of the stove or the, the engine, so to speak. The stand stores inside the stove itself. You just pinch the feet together right here and pull it out. Those are easy assembly. The first time or two you put it together, you do kind of have to break the pieces in to where they're used to sitting together. But as you can see, each corner here has notches and you just slide those notches together. The first time or two, it's not really, it's not a pain to get them together, but you do kind of have to break the pieces in because the tolerances on this are extremely tight, which is a good thing. So you just snap them together and your stove sits right down in there. It's a very nice and sturdy base. One thing I want to point out right here is if you're on sandy or just soft soil, uneven ground, because these are thin, you can kind of force it down into the ground and just make it, force it to be flat, so to speak. But also if it is uneven, it does have teeth along the bottom a little bit to help catch and keep things secure like on rocks and other stuff. On the inside, you do have carbon felt just to act as a, an insulator, kind of help keep the alcohol warm and burn better. You have these cutouts right here, which are air ports. You control that with a lid here. You can control the height of those burn ports. If you want an extremely hot uh, burning stove, just basically just set the lid on top and leave those ports wide open. If you want it to burn for a longer amount of time, just close them all the way down. I will say as we're at this point and demonstrating this that you have to decide where you want it beforehand. It is possible to close the ports while it's burning but I have yet to figure out a way without burning yourself to open those ports up while it's burning. Using about two cups of water and about one ounce of fuel you'll get a burn time with the ports all the way open of about three minutes and, and 30 seconds give or take. That's about average. I've gotten about 323 as the fastest time and almost four minutes as the slowest time. The, that one ounce of fuel will last for all of about seven minutes, give or take a little bit. With the ports all the way closed, with the same amount of fuel and same amount of water, uh, the website says a boil time of about five and a half minutes. I've seen closer to six minutes, but uh, just could be different environments. Um, I have seen upwards of six and a half minutes, and the fire's out, according to the website, at about 15 minutes. It seems to go out on me at about 13 and a half minutes, something like that, but again, it's probably just a different environment. My testing times have really varied. It really depends on the temperature outside, the time a day um, and whether I have a windscreen or not. Speaking of a windscreen, let's talk about this pot stand real quick. It slides together in the same fashion as the feet 
and provides a very sturdy base in the stove itself. The pot rests right up here. One of the really cool things about this, if you don't have or if you're too lazy to set up, <clears throat> like me oftentimes, uh, a windscreen around, around your stove while you're cooking, this pot stand is pretty cool in that it, it separates the stove basically into four separate sections. So if you have wind coming from this direction or from these two directions, this side of the stove is isolated and it's still burning just as well as it was without the wind. So it's pretty neat. Fueling up is a snap. Just take your fuel bottle. Again, this will hold about two ounces. I have found the two ounce line seems to be right at the bottom of the, uh, the ports on the side. And so I typically put probably around an ounce and a half, something like that. So fueling up is a snap, so is lighting it. Just take your ferro rod or your, your lighter or something like that. And I just come in from the side from the port with the lighter. And there you go. Let's go ahead and get some water in our pot. Okay, what are we cooking today? We're gonna have some miso and fish soup. This is far better with fresh fish, but I wanted to, to mimic how it would be if I was on a backpacking trip or something like that. But like I said, it does come with a cream sauce. We're gonna rinse that off. Like I said, we're gonna do miso and fish soup. I'm gonna go ahead and add this in now. No sense to wait till it boils. Go ahead and let that kind of simmer up together. Let's see if we can't get a shot of the flames here. That's a rolling boil off about one ounce of fuel and about 20 ounces of water. The thing I'd like to point out, and I hope you guys can see this. So you can see the fuel's run dry and it's still burning. That's what that uh, the felt does in there. It soaks up some of that alcohol so as you get near to the end, it does kind of help it burn longer. All right, while the remainder of the fuel burns off and my soup cools down from something less than the surface of the sun, let's talk about this. This is the new one. Obviously, just use it as kind of the, the prop here. I really like that it comes in a case. That, that is something that, to me, you know, with a lot of other gear, you have to provide a package for it to, to rest in. You have to organize it. This comes ready to roll. While we're talking about the case, I like the fact that it is big enough that you can store your fuel in there as well. Holds up nice and snug, and to be honest with you, if you were to take the instructions out and get a little creative with how you packaged it, you probably could fit two fuel bottles in there. Another thing how I like how it packs up, if you don't have a fuel bottle in there, it's a nice, small, tiny package. You can easily fit that in the pocket. It folds up. It's not flat, but it, is a sm it has a very tiny footprint. You can fit this just about anywhere in your kit, your glove box, you know, your center console in your dash, pretty much anywhere in your backpack. I mean, it is very versatile in where you can store this. But at the same point in time, you know, it packs a pretty decent punch. The construction is really nice. I mean, it's got nice rolled edges. I point that out just to say it's extremely sturdy. No matter where you put it in your gear, you're probably not going to crush the thing. You're probably not going to puncture the thing. It is extremely sturdy. It will hold a, a fair amount of water. The, the max amount of water that I have boiled in it has been 24 ounces. It did that very well. It didn't seem to be overweight a bit. And another thing I keep on coming back to is the price point at about $18, $19. Just say it's $21, maybe $22 after shipping. It's very affordable. Uh, it's a lot of bang for your buck in my opinion. Uh, I do need to point this out. These aren't negatives in my opinion because this, this kind of fits into how I use alcohol stoves perfectly. There are two things that people may not like about it. I don't care, but number one, you, you can't really adjust it while it's burning like some other alcohol stoves you can. That doesn't bother me a bit because when I go into whatever I'm cooking, boiling water for coffee or for a mountain house meal or something, or cooking a soup like today, I know how I want it to burn. So it's not a big deal to me. Another thing, which again, I, I burn off all the fuel anyway, but I don't know of any way to you know turn this off, so to speak, without putting an empty cup over top of it and just snuffing it out. Not a big deal to me. I don't store fuel in my alcohol stoves just because most of the time the rubber gaskets and stuff kind of have a tendency to get stuck and they can be pretty difficult to open. 
That's just me. If you store alcohol in your, in your alcohol stoves, no problem with it. I'm not critiquing you. Anyway, that's just how I do things. So obviously there's no hiding it. I like the stove. For me anyway, you can't beat the price at about 20 bucks. For me, you can't beat the weight at three to four ounces. The footprint it packs down to is extremely handy. Just the way it functions fits the way I cook out in the woods and at home or at work very well. It's just, it's, it's a win-win for me, especially this time of year when it's almost 100 degrees outside almost every day. So, you know, it, it just provides a convenience, an easy convenience that doesn't use much fuel. Anyway, let's see if my soup is cool enough to not melt my tongue off. It's not bad. Honestly, the canned fish kind of overpowers the miso soup flavor a little bit. You can still taste it. Not my favorite, but it's a meal. As I mentioned in a previous video, there have been several companies come to me and ask me to give away their gear. Hey, why not? So, as has been in the past, Chad from MySurvivalPack.com has been kind enough to not only provide a stove to review and show off to you guys, but also provide a stove to give away to you guys. So here's the deal. What do you have to do to qualify for the giveaway or whatnot? As usual, you do need to be a subscriber to this channel. I would ask that you go check out MySurvivalPack.com. Check out their website. He sells a lot of really cool gear. I own probably 50% of the equipment that they put out. I use it all the time. It's excellent stuff. I'm not just talking about the company. If you guys have watched my videos for any length of time, you know I use that gear frequently. Anyway, for this stove, as I said, you do need to be a subscriber to this channel. Check out MySurvivalPack.com. Link will be in the description. And uh, all you need to do is hit the comment section up, say I'm in, and I would like to know one thing that you really like about this stove. And that's it, guys. That's all you need to do to be qualified or entered for this giveaway. The date today is August 31st. I'm not sure if I'll get this video up today or tomorrow on the 1st of September. Just pay attention to the, the date it was posted, and you can expect to see the winner be drawn in one week from the date this video is posted. And one thing I will do, just so this is ready to go from the get-go, I will add one bottle. It will not be filled with fuel because I don't want to pay the prices for shipping it, but I will add one fuel bottle as well that fits down in this package, so you don't need to go out and buy a bottle or anything like that. All you need to do is provide your own fuel and you're ready to rock and roll. Anyway folks, thank you very much for being here today. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. I hope it has helped you make an informed decision about whether this alcohol stove is something that you might enjoy using. If it was informative, would you do me a favor and go ahead and give me a thumbs up? I would appreciate it very much. Also guys, there's a red subscribe button right down here. If you enjoy videos such as this, please go ahead and make use of that. And as always, hit up the comment section. Let's talk about this stove. Don't forget to enter in the giveaway. And guys, I will see you next time. I hope you have a great day.